Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh Hello dear students, I hope you are doing well uh, I am Mr. Muadh uh, And this is uh, our chemistry uh, channel It's called Easy Chemistry for All um, It would be great if you can share it with all your friends and, and classmates So that everyone uh, benefits uh, Already many students are benefiting from uh, these videos So that would be great uh, for you and for them to subscribe and uh, share uh, the channel uh, with all the students that you know on social media or your friends and so on okay so our video today is for grade 10 advanced module 13 uh, the title of the module is mixtures and solutions and it's from the inspire chemistry book this is lesson 2 or section 2 solution concentration Part 1. Inshallah, part 2 will also be uploaded uh, alone. We are going to learn how to solve problems related to the concentration of solutions by performing calculations involving moles and express the results in various units. For example, mole per liter, mole per kilogram, part per million, percent by mass, and percent by volume. Also, we are going to learn how to prepare practically solutions with specific concentrations by dissolving a solid solute in a solvent or by diluting the concentrated solution. So, let's start. Imagine that one day you prepared a cup of tea, okay? But after you tasted it, the taste was not strong enough. What will you do to make the tea taste stronger? You can stop the video now and try to think of an answer. Okay, welcome back. So this is the tea that you prepared, all right? This is the tea that you prepared. So what can you do to make it stronger? You can add more tea, right? So you can add another bag of tea or a tea bag and it will make the solution or the tea more concentrated and the taste is stronger. And this is the whole idea behind concentration. We have dilute and concentrated solutions, all right? So the main idea of our lesson is concentration can be explained in terms of mass or in terms of moles. And we are going to see more of that in the next slides. All right, let's begin with the keywords. So the first keyword in our first part is concentration. Concentration is how much of a solute is dissolved in a specific amount of solvent or solution. We also have molarity. Molarity. It's the number of moles of a solute dissolved per liter of solution. We have also molality and mole fraction, which we are going to cover in part two. All right. Concentration. So to express concentration, we have two ways. And the first way, we saw it with the tea bag example. So we can express the solutions or the concentration of solutions qualitatively and quantitatively or mathematically. So for qualitatively, we can say that the solution is diluted or a dilute or concentrated. Okay, so the dilute has less number of solutes and more volume and the concentrated has more number of solutes and less volume to express the concentration quantitatively we are going to study five ways to do that and here they are we have the percent by mass percent by volume molarity molality and mole fraction and we are going to start with percent by mass and here's the ratio or the equation for it. So here's an example. In order to maintain an ocean concentration of sodium chloride or salt, an aquarium must contain 3.6 grams of NaCl per 100 gram of water. Find the concentration of NaCl in the solution using the percent by mass. So you can stop the video think about an answer and come back to it. All right, welcome back. So 
The first thing that we need to do in such question is to find the no information, okay? The numbers, the data. So the information that you know is the mass of solute in ACL and the mass of the solvent, which is water, right? So 3.6 grams and 100 grams. And what do they need you to find? Here's the keyword or the unknown. The concentration of NaCl using the percent by mass. So if you go back to the previous slide, you'll find that there is an equation for the percent by mass, and it is the following. The percent by mass is equal to the mass of the solute over the mass of solution. So you have the mass of the solute, but you don't have the mass of solution. And when you get this ratio, you multiply it by 100. So, the mass of solution, you know from the previous lesson that a solution is made from a solvent and a solute. So the solution, or the mass of the solution, is the sum of the masses of solute and solvent, which will result in 103.6 grams. Now, you have the mass of solution. So just do the math. The percent by mass equals 3.6 grams, which is the mass of the solute, over 103.6 grams, which is the mass of solution, multiply by 100. It gives you the percent by mass. So this number means that in this solution, 3.5% of its mass is in ACL, and the rest of the mass is water. All right, so now that we saw the percent by mass, we are going to see the percent by volume. And it is the same thing, the difference only is that we are dealing with volume, liters or milliliters, rather than dealing with grams or kilograms. So here's an example. Biodiesel is produced from renewable resources like vegetable oil and petroleum diesel. Assume you mixed 10 liters of biofuel with 30 liters of petroleum diesel. What is the concentration of biofuel using percent by volume? So you will see that the equation for the percent by volume is similar to that of the percent by mass. So percent by volume equals volume of solute over volume of solution times 100. The only difference is that now we are dealing with volumes. So we have the volume of the solute, which is 10 liters, right? It is here, 10 liters of the biofuel. Do we have the volume of the solution? No, but it is the sum of the volume of the solute and the volume of the solvent. So 10, so 10 plus 30 gives me 40 liters. So 10 over 40 liters, 10 liters over 40 liters, multiply by 100, gives me the percent by volume, 25%. All right? Okay, the third way in which we can measure the concentration mathematically is called molarity. Molarity is the number of moles of a solute dissolved per liter of solution. And we can get it using the following equation. Molarity equals the moles of a solute over the volume or liters of a solution. And it has the unit of measurement of mole per liter or a big M. And you can use this triangle to help you remember the equation. If you want the moles, multiply molarity by liters. If you want liters or molarity, you divide moles by any one of them to get the other one. All right, let's watch a following video and try to concentrate on it. To measure concentration, chemists use molarity. Molarity is the number of moles of solute dissolved in a solution. And we use the capital letter M to represent it. You calculate molarity by taking the moles of the solute and dividing by the liters of solution. Instead of writing units as moles per liter, you just write a capital M for molar. Let's try an example. What is the molarity of a solution with 0 0.70 moles of solute in 250 milliliters of solution? Molarity is moles divided by liters. This problem gives us the 0.7 moles of solute, but the solution is given in milliliters, not liters. So we need to convert milliliters to liters by dividing by 1,000. Then we can use that number in our calculation. Do the math, and you get 2.8 molar. So 
So let's check your understanding on what we have been studying. I want you to stop the video here, try to answer these two questions, and then come back to the video. All right, welcome back. So let's start with the first question. What will be the mass percent concentration of the solution obtained by mixing 25 grams of glucose and 75 grams of water? So you know the equation. It is the mass of solute, which is 25 grams, over the mass of solution, that is 25 plus 75, right, times 100. And the answer is going to be 25%. Exactly. So you can put 25 here. And that's for the first question. The second question, what is the percent by volume of isopropyl alcohol in a solution that contains 24 milliliter of isopropyl alcohol in 1.1 liter of water? So this is the equation that we will use, right? Now, you know the volume of the solute, it's 24 milliliters. You know the volume of the solvent, 1.1 liters. So we need the volume of the solution at both. And don't forget to change the unit for measurement. So I changed here the liter to milliliters. So when we add, we have the volume of solution is 1,124 milliliters. Use the equation, multiply, and then you get your answer. So now let's check your understanding on molarity. A 100.5 milliliter intravenous solution, and this is the intravenous solution, everyone. This is what they give patients in the hospital. Contains 5.10 grams of glucose. What is the molarity of this solution? So you can stop the video here, try to answer, and then come back. All right, thank you for your efforts. So let's dissect or divide the information that we have here. We have the known information, that is the volume of the solution, 100.5 milliliters, and the mass of the solute. And we don't know the molarity of the solution, right? So for the molarity, we need the volume and we need the moles. So we need to find the moles first, because we have the equation of molarity is the moles of solute over liters of solution. So we can get the moles from the mass and molar mass. We divide the mass by the molar mass of glucose and we get the answer here. And then we use the moles in our equation. 0.0283 moles divided by 100.5 times 10 to the power of minus 3. Because don't forget, the volume should be in liters. And our answer will be 0.282 molars. We have reached the end of part one of this lesson, and now we are going to solve three true or false questions. Here's the first question. A diluted solution of NaCl contains less solute than a concentrated solution of NaCl of the same volume. And the answer is true. Diluted means less solute. The second one, concentration can be described qualitatively only, like saying diluted or concentrated. So of course this is false, because we have mathematical representation of concentration as well. Finally, molarity is defined as the moles of solute that are dissolved per liter of solution, and that is true, moles over liters of solution.